afternoon everybody it is week 10 of training or well, run one so this week is actually cut back week because i swapped my weeks around from last week um so there's only three runs this week today is just a 5k um it's a bit of a weird week because although it's cut back week i've been super busy I've had family over like i say i'm um, uh, hanging around doing stuff for the week so we've been on my feet and doing stuff so far all week it's only wednesday um but yeah we've been out walking and everything and doing other stuff so uh, I'm about to go out, it's a bit rainy, I'm going to see if I can take Sirius with me and take him for a little run because I want to get him back running again see if he'll come out because there's not as many places to let him off lead or that I'm comfortable letting him off lead around here so I want to see if he can come on some little short runs with me through the week just to get that energy out that he gets but yeah, just off to do our um, first run of the week, 5k and uh, just a nice and easy one, so uh, see you later Morning all, so it is an absolutely glorious day today. So we're on week 10, run two, and um, yeah, I'm off to do four and a half miles in the sunshine, and I can't wait. It is so nice out today. I really wish I had my sunglasses. It's that bright, sorry for the squinting. Um, it is gorgeous, just look at that. Um, I'm only doing just over four miles, but I'm pleased to have a drink because geez, I'd have been struggling up that hill without it, that's for sure. And that's the second time I've done that today because we walked up it this morning with the dogs as well, so the Tom can see. So, uh, yeah, off we go. And um, I think we're about, well, we're just over a mile now. I haven't think like we've gone that far actually, but we're just over a mile now, so it'll only be a short one today, but I am enjoying this sunshine, that's for sure. and I was running along here nicely but I've had to stop running and start walking because I'm scaring the poor sheep too. oh yeah I'm literally just walking along bless them I feel bad because as well at the bottom I turn around and come back sorry I'm not going to hurt you I'm going really slow I'm going to flip mountain goats up the side of this thing <laughs> cute though hi <coughs> Don't cough loud, I'm going scare them more. <laughs> okay, I think I'm past them now. Okay, there's a traffic jam on the way back, but one of them's looking at me funny. <laughs> I'm just going to slowly go around here and not make much noise or first I think I've separated them into three Is it looking at me? I can't help it, I'm just walking on the path I feel bad but this is the way to go back Oh, beautiful If they just stand to the side I'll walk past them, no bother But no I feel like a sheepdog Just be careful, you're getting that stuck around your foot Oh dear. I genuinely feel like I'm hurting it at this point, but I'm not. They're going to end up in my house before long. <laughs> this is a traffic jam in the Lake District. Oh look, they're off now. Good cheapies. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I love being in the Lake District. It's funny. morning all week 10 run three sunday and um, we're back at grysdale so it's the first time i've been at grysdale since we moved we've got six miles to do today so i'm going to explore a few of the little trails and um it is another lovely day so i can't wait actually it's good that i am only doing six and i didn't want to do the green one because i think part of the green one is closed I think they had a lot of damage 
with the recent storms a couple of weeks ago and it's caused some big issues I love Gradial and I love the sculptures they have as you go around they're really cool and the views and the scenery and it does help and it's a lovely day there's a nice breeze and also some sunshine so I don't know how long this white trail is going to be now because I've had to do a there was like a diversion set up so you couldn't go down a certain bit so I don't know if it makes it longer or shorter I think it actually makes it a bit shorter so we might have to do the slightly longer yellow one at the end but we'll see so the first route I am doing is to the Grisdale Tarn which I think they said was like the largest natural tarn in Grisdale or something I can't remember what it said exactly anyways we're here at the tarn so a tarn is basically a very small like a lake type thing but it's really small um, so it can't be classed as a lake so it's a tarn some of them are man-made and some of them are natural apparently this one is natural nice little water area oh, it's so peaceful there was ducks I thought there was something swimming in the water but it's just ducks this would be a gorgeous place there's a bench over there to come and sit and have a picnic or something it is so peaceful I'm gonna guess it's not this peaceful in the summer but if you can get a deer like this absolutely lovely I do wish I brought my sunglasses luckily when I'm in the trees a bit it's a bit shaded but when you're not it's very bright who'd have thought I'd want sunglasses in March right we've been to the town now now we have to go back I'm still following the di diversion signs so like I say I actually have no idea how long this trail's going to be it was supposed to be four miles I don't think it's going to be that long so I might have to add a bit on it's really sad because there's so many trees coming down I don't think Goyap is open at the minute because they have a Goyap in here which I don't want to do by the way but obviously makes money for them so I'm going to guess they're desperately trying to get that back open for summer and a lot of the other areas and the green route that me and Tom really want to do which is the 10 mile one which I even I tried twice as you'll have seen from previous videos and failed because I got lost right at the end um that isn't open either so it's a good thing we didn't try to do that but hopefully fingers crossed it will be open again soon because I would like to get that done and also the forest is just so beautiful that I want to be able to yeah go around it again but yes we'll carry on see how long this trail has actually taken us in the end and um, see how we get on see you in a bit because we're at five miles right now and I need to do 6.2 for 10k off we go look at all the trees they've had to cut down oh it's so sad that bloody storm or well, both of those storms I should say it was two look at it I hope they managed to get it and all the paths cleared for the summer because that's a really big source of income for them for people visiting it's still beautiful up here though. unfortunately I realised earlier because of some of the chills being on I did miss one of my favourite sections 
where the white route and the green route intersect from when I did the green route but that's alright it has still been a lovely morning so far I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I need a bit more to go so we shall keep going this route also had a diversion from foreign trees and on the last little bit look at this so I just look at the size of those trees the wind it must have took to blow them over not just blow it over look that one's cracked in half mother nature this is scary woman right just got back um i did just over six and a half miles so it was a bit longer but that was fine that was because there was a couple of diversions due to trees being down um i forgot to film an outro while we were there and then we went for ice cream on the way home because um tom and his mum came to the forest and they just took the dogs for a walk while i was running ice cream was yummy um but yeah that's the end of week 10 um so i'm gonna have a bath and have something to eat and we will see you next week bye